It's no secret, I'm a trackpad aficionado when it comes to Chromebooks. I really care how that click mechanism feels. And in a lot of reviews, I will mention the fact that I don't like when trackpads aren't seated properly in the device. They kind of float and flop around when you touch them. And there's a fix for it, and I fixed it on many Chromebooks, but I don't usually mention it, but I did with the review of the ASUS Chromebook Flip CX-5. And after I mentioned the fact that I cracked this one open, I, I bought this myself, so it's mine, that I cracked it open and fixed it, a lot of people started asking exactly how you go about doing that. And what I'm gonna show you today doesn't only work on this Chromebook, it works on all sorts of Chromebooks, provided internally the mechanism is set up the same. So we wanna open this thing up and show you how to possibly adjust the trackpad on your Chromebook. Now first up, before we crack this Chromebook open and I show you exactly how to go about doing this, you need to collect some tools for yourself if you're gonna try this. You wanna get something similar to something like this where it's a, a set with a lot of different uh, uh, heads on it, a lot of different bits. Basically, it's, it's like tiny screwdrivers, uh, a lot of Phillips head, stuff like that because that's what you're gonna encounter both on the outer parts and the inner parts of any Chromebook. You're gonna to wanna to have some pry tools available. And right now we have a metal pry tool. I would suggest having plastic ones if you've never done this stuff before, because you gotta be real careful with the metal ones when you're dealing with a plastic chassis Chromebook. If you're dealing with an all aluminum Chromebook, a metal one is just fine. And then you wanna have a grounding strip of some sort if you wanna be careful. I'm gonna be honest, a lot of times I don't use this, uh, but especially for this video, just so that everyone's taking all the precautions they can and not uh, ruining their Chromebook. You want to have one of these grounding strips as well. You just put it on your wrist and, and clamp it to something metal to ground yourself with the device. And lastly, this will void your warranty. Anytime you crack open a Chromebook, this one specifically had a sticker around one of the screws on it. They're going to know that you've opened it up. And if anything goes wrong, it doesn't matter if what we're doing today is what causes it to go wrong. If something goes wrong, and they really want to push back on you, manufacturer, the place that you bought the device, they can, and they can say, nope, you're not getting a return, you're not getting a repair, you're not getting anything. So proceed with caution here. If this is something you want to do and you're not that worried about it, great. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it, but don't come back and blame us if something goes wrong and you got to go buy another Chromebook. Again, proceed with caution. Okay, now that we got all that stuff out of the way, if I haven't scared you off yet, the first thing you're going to want to do with your Chromebook is you're gonna to want to get rid of all the screws that are in here. Now, certain Chromebooks, if you're dealing with the CX-5 or Flip C536, I think is the other name for it. Um, if you're dealing with a Chromebook like this, then you'll see exactly what I'm gonna do. The CM5, which is the AMD powered one, has the exact same chassis. So if you run into the same issue, that will work. But like I said, I've cracked open a lot of Chromebooks and this process works on a bunch of them. So uh, your screws might be in different positions. You might have some screws hiding under feet. So if you go to crack the bottom of this thing off and you notice it's really still attached, it's somewhere off of the outer portions of this thing, uh, you're probably gonna have to peel off the feet and actually get under there and get those screws removed. But this is where your tools uh, that you've hopefully gotten together before you started this process. Again, a regular screwdriver will do if you have really small bits, uh, but these that they sell are kind of meant for this type of thing. They've got really uh, tiny bits just for these types of screws. And I'm not gonna put you through the pain of watching me unscrew all of these. I'm gonna take these off and we'll get right back as soon as I get this cleaned up. Okay, we've got all the screws out. And after you do that, depending on the type of device you're talking about, especially ones with plastic bottoms, there's gonna be kind of like these little clamps that, that clip the bottom of the Chromebook on. So you're gonna have to use your pry tool. Again, if it's a plastic Chromebook, I'd recommend a plastic pry tool. This one has been opened before. We have the metal pry tool here. I've done this before. I know how to be very careful. Just take your time uh, because you don't want, what can happen with a metal pry tool especially is you can actually dent some of the parts of the plastic and you can't fix that if you do that. So uh, just easily work your way around with that pry tool. Basically until you find a spot where it cracks open, you'll hear kind of like a little pop uh, and it'll unhinge that and you can just kind of work your hand around actually after that point and, and pop it open around as you go. Once you kind of unseat the whole thing, especially with the CX-5, the, the bottom chassis um, actually has the power buttons hooked in on the side. So uh, be be wary of that uh, because you your power and volume rockers over here, normally you pop the lid or the bottom of this thing off, nothing's connected to it. This one was the first time I did it, I got happy because I got it open and I popped it open to take it off and that thing came off and these little ribbon cables are just really tough to put back into place. So 
uh, just be wary of that. There's another one of those situations in here. Once we get a little farther in that you're going to want to take consideration of. Again, let's put on this uh, electronic static whatever thing. We just want to make sure that you know our, our static electricity is not going to cause any issue with all the tech that's going on down here. And so this keeps us from doing that exact thing. So what you're going to need to do is take off the battery. And I would say keep, uh, keep your screws from the different parts of the Chromebook in different little piles. I think these are the same that go in the chassis. Um, but you'll want to know where things are to put them back when you're done with all this. Um, so we're going to flip the battery over again very carefully because it is connected as well. And now we see the trackpad array here. And so now we need to get to it. Um, and one thing I want to point out about this on, on the trackpad, as you can see here, the the springs are down here. Uh, they're kind of just like little clamps and they push up on the trackpad a little bit. Uh, not a whole lot. You would think actually that most of the spring loadedness of the trackpad comes from here. It actually doesn't. It comes from the hinges along the top part of the trackpad nearest like the space bar. So we need to get to those and adjust them because and you need to understand how to adjust them so that if you adjust it and you feel something, you're like, oh, I don't like that. I want to go a different way. You need to understand how changing this hinge affects the trackpad. And so if you think about it this way, if the trackpad's here and these little hinges that we're going to see are sitting here, if that hinge is bent upward towards the upper portion, so this is the glass surface of the trackpad, when I screw this in, it's going to push that the, the actual trackpad up. Does that make sense? So if it does that, you're going to get the floating trackpad. If I have this thing bent down and then I screw this into the chassis, it's going to bend the trackpad down. And a lot of times that's what you're going to, going to want to do. You want to get the trackpad down into the device just a little bit more. With this one exactly, I've actually overdone that a little bit. And so the trackpad feels, it works and it doesn't jump around, but it feels a little bit dead. Like I want it to have a little bit of spring back. Again, you would think I could just make these more springy. Not exactly the case for whatever reason, that just doesn't work. So we need to adjust these hinges. So let's jump in and get that done on this particular Chromebook. All right, so again, anytime you have any cables or anything going across stuff, just take your time, be careful. We need to get to these screws here. So we're going to peel this back. And again, I'm going to be extra careful with it. And you see my adhesive has come off with this. Just a little unfortunate, but these things are just in place to hold stuff in place when people like me get in here and start messing around with things. So I'm going to put that to just to the side. And then these tape pieces are kind of holding the trackpad in place. So we're going to peel those back just a little bit so that we can actually move it. And again, keep in mind this, these are really hard to get back in place. I'm not saying they, they won't go back in place. They're just annoying to put back. So uh, as, as little as you can move those, the better. So we're going to take these screws off here and you're probably going to instantly see the adjustments I've already made to this thing. Um, yeah, you can see it. So it's probably difficult to see from the overhead, but you can see that that raised up. As soon as I took the screw out, that that hinge actually uh, moved downward towards the bottom part of the trackpad. And so because of that, um, that actually, since that, that hinge has moved down, when it screws in, it's going to tilt the trackpad downward. And that's what I was going for. I just overshot it just a little bit. So just going to adjust that the other way. Again, you're going to kind of adjust as you see fit. But as soon as this comes up, you can see the trackpad is, is kind of floating here. Um, and there, there are pegs there to get it back in place. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually bend ever so slightly these guys back down just a little bit. Oops. And they're not real firm, so you don't have to put too much pressure on them. And so now, yeah, those sit down a little bit better. It's hard to tell whether you've nailed it and like got it perfect and that's just the painstaking process here you got to put it back together to test it because you can't really test it without putting it back together because this pushes on the battery everything has to be screwed back in so honestly if you get into this you're going to probably try to make a very minute adjustment put everything back together you don't have to put every piece of tape or whatever back and you don't necessarily have to put the bottom chassis on you'll be able to flip the chromebook over and and, and Try it out and see if it works for you. But you've done it basically. This is, you're done with the hard stuff. Um, now we just got to put everything back together. So I'm actually going to walk you back through that stuff. And you'll probably watch me fumble through a couple of these things because 
This is not something I do on a daily basis. But first off, we're going to put the screws back into the track pad and tighten uh, those freshly, slightly bent hinges that we just talked about. And again, none of these things, none of these screws need over tightening. So uh, just again, I can't stress enough. Take your time. Uh, there's no, no need to rush in any of this kind of stuff. So once we've got those screwed on, we need to put our tape back where it was. Slightly mangled. We're going to put this piece back across here. And this tape is real mangled. Again, none of this is going to seriously affect performance on your device in any way, shape, or form. This stuff's here for padding and holding stuff in place. Um, so worst case scenario, you could always order this type of stuff off of Amazon and cut it to fit and put it all back. So We're going to put our battery back on. There we go. Again, just checking as you go, making sure that you're not uh, overlapping something or you haven't pulled a cable loose or anything like that. I'm going to unhook this because we're kind of done with the motherboard portions of things. And again, be very careful with this. I'll flip it over nice and easy. And you'll want to hook around kind of where you have your USBs and that kind of stuff. Those things tend to be a little more particular about getting things lined up on it. Once you get it lined up, you can just kind of start pushing down. You'll hear those clips that I talked about at the beginning snapping back into place. And then I like to run just my hand around, thumb and forefinger, and just push everything down. Make sure everything snapped back in. And even if you miss any of those, honestly, the screws, as you put them all back into the Chromebook, will kind of help solidify that. And you, you might hear a couple snaps uh, go back into place once you go through and start, and you, we just heard one just right there. So some of those things will snap themselves back in place as you put these screws. That's gonna kind of be your final piece here. All right, we got the screws all back in, and hopefully, yeah, we have nice action on the trackpad. It's slotted where I want it. It's nice and quiet. This is a good trackpad. It just needs a fix on the action, and so, that did it, and hopefully for you guys, if you follow the steps, uh, take your time and 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 you know work through the whole procedure, it works for you as well. And again, I can't stress enough: this is going to avoid your warranty if you crack your Chromebook open. So make sure it's something that you want to do. And if it is, uh, follow the steps, take your time, take the proper precautions. You know, use all the tools at your disposal, and uh, hopefully it works. And hopefully, you know, you can let me know in the comments if if this helped you. Uh, it could be an older Chromebook, could be a newer one, doesn't really matter. There's lots of trackpad issues on Chromebooks, and this has fixed them for me a lot of times. But if this has been helpful to you, uh, give us a thumbs up. Head down there and hit that subscribe button, and be sure and ring the notification icon that's next to that if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one. Until next time, we'll see you.